Hi, I'm Regina, owner and chemist here at Artie Alchemy Natural Products. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a recipe for a beeswax face cream. So a couple ingredients you're going to need, of course, you're going to need beeswax. I have beeswax here, but this is the pellet form. You can get it in the big block chunk form and then just break off what you need. And then some sort of oil, vegetable oils preferred. I'm using avocado oil today, but you can go ahead and use any kind of oil you want from almond oil, safflower oil, even any kind of coconut oil is a great oil to work with. And then all you're going to do also at the end is uh, just some essential oils. If you want some scent to your beeswax face cream, you can use essential oil. The pure essential oil is better, but if you don't have that and you don't want any kind of scent, you don't have to put it to it. So what you're going to start with is you're going to do a quarter cup of your vegetable oil into your double boiler. Now this double boiler here is designed specifically to help heat oils. It has two parts to it and you're going to put some water in this bottom part and then put all your oils in the top part. And what that does is it evenly distributes the heat so this way you don't burn your oils. If you don't have a double boiler at home, you don't need to worry. All you need is a regular pot, put some uh, water in the bottom, about an inch or two, turn it on low and simmer it, and then put a heat resistant bowl in the middle. And that's the bowl you're gonna put all your oils in and that's gonna help evenly heat and distribute those oils so this way they don't burn and, and get all rancid on you. So to your double boiler, you're gonna put a quarter cup of your oil. And then we're going to put a half a tablespoon of beeswax. So this is a tablespoon. I'm just going to do about a half or so. You can eyeball it. Now with this recipe, this is going to make a pretty thick um, overall cream. If you want to make it a little thinner, just use a little less beeswax. Or of course, if you want it thicker, just use a little bit more and let it melt. And then once it's melted, you're ready to go ahead and pour it. Now, if it's real, real hot and you're pouring it into a plastic type of jar, you may want to wait for it to cool a little bit. Of course, you don't want to burn that plastic or melt it. So this is going to go into a glass container. When you have your beeswax face cream done, you can keep it in a jar or in a bowl. However you like to do it, you can keep a little saran wrap. Now this is all melted and this will thicken and harden as it cools. So. Don't get discouraged. It usually will take a few hours to fully cool. You could always put it in the refrigerator also, so this way it will help to cool it down. Now before it cools completely, I'm going to put in 15 to 20 drops of my favorite essential oil. This one's lavender. Really great for the face, really great for helping to rejuvenate the skin. And then once you have that dropped in, just give it a quick mix with any kind of spoon. And as you can see, it's already starting to kind of solidify there. And then you're done, you're all set. It will thicken and harden more as it goes. You can see it's here. This is your beeswax face cream. You can use this day or night, however often you want. And because there's no water in this product, it is going to last for a long time. You don't have to worry about any kind of microbial contamination. If you want, you can always add other essential oils. You can use different types of vegetable oils. You can always add butters to it, like mango butter, shea butter, to give it a little bit more variety. And then, of course, you can always add vitamin E, and that's going to help actually preserve your oils, preserve your, your butters or anything else in there so it won't go rancid. And this beeswax face cream is really great for dry, mature skin or anything for extra moisturization. And that's how you make beeswax face cream.